Okay, so we are back. I guess this will either be a continuation of Chapter 1 or Part 2 or 3 of Chapter 1. I don't exactly know how I'll do it just yet. Uh, that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and back out, get back to the gameplay, have some fun with Dark Slobber too, see what he can do. Chompy pod. Okay, so probably not news to 99% of you, but 47 on the tail. Let's let it spit some chompies out. 20 when we spit it out. Let's let some more come out. So I keep wanting to like roll around with slobber teeth and like bash or something. The cool thing is the uh, chompies will actually come to us. We can drop down here. The question is if we can go down any farther. Let's... Yes, we can. There must be something good down there. Go in there or not? Uh, we're gonna try. Yes, we can. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this. Zone. Okay, this is cool. Honey troll is what they call this. Is like we're inside a tree with a honeycomb or some sort of deal. There must be something in here that we want to acquire. He kind of looks like he's covered in honey. I don't know if it's hiding or he actually is. But, uh, There's only one option in this one. Okay, well hopefully we didn't need that. Um, I cannot jump that high. I can jump that high, so I feel good about that. Let me make sure you can't jump off the ledge. Okay, it's, all right. Just wanted to double check. Probably can't make that either. Okay, we probably have to push this one over there. Uh seems like you should be able to make it. In like the th original 3DS version, you totally could. You're probably going to have to backtrack that thing all the way over there. But before we do, check it out. So, I can't tell who that is. Um, really hard to tell. Still can't see it, well. Oh, Magma Charge, okay. Uh, so... Cool deal here, new powers unlock, multi-barreled, and super repulsor. Uh, I think Magna Charge is going to be a fun carry for you to actually upgrade. We'll go ahead, we'll preview him. Uh, if these start dropping frames, I'm going to quit doing that and we'll do it afterwards. Very cool. Again, I like the little uh, split screens there in the preview. But we got our uh, two soul gems now, of course this thing's got to go a mile and a half across the world. And that'll either be a legendary treasure or some more Flynn stuff. Seems weird if some of Flynn stuff is in there, so I'm guessing it might be like a legendary treasure. No, that's some of Flynn stuff, so I guess you would have to find this actually. I'm assuming you have to have all this stuff to progress. I mean, who knows at this point. I feel like we got everything out of here, so go ahead and stroll on out. I want to see if he's covered in honey or he just looked funny. Yeah, back to normal out here, so we'll go back up, take care of these chompies in the chompy, sp chompy pod. Can't go over here, can you? Okay. Again, as I kind of like learn the new graphics on this game, I'll quit checking what seems stupid. We're not getting away with getting killed. But, <laughs> uh... It's just one of those deals, you know, I kind of like to check and make sure, so let's see what we can do to this guy. Dark Slobber Tooth performing nicely here. I think one of these guys came down. Oh, there he is. Goodbye. Alright, back up to the top. I'm going to go pick up some Quans. Got an air element. Um... 
so we'll have to use like one of our swapper units. So let's go ahead and go in there. I'm assuming that isn't the way you go for Driss, which is why we need to go there first. You need an air, Skylander, to unlock this gate. You know, I was gonna do Free Ranger. But, since this is Sunday, and I just watched the Broncos and Colts, let's pull Slobbertooth and let Boomjet have a go at it. He's kind of like my Mega Man quarterback type character. That was like eerily slow. Just like when Plants on. Uh, here's Boomjet though, 260, he's got 21 coins. Very cool looking guy. Uh, Again, I'm wanting to press A for primary, and that's the secondary, which is just like the prop shooting out. And then primary is actually the football toss, which is right there. Why button again? Bear with me, it'll take some time for me to get used to all that. Well, looks like a new course. Skylanders of the air element are stronger in this zone. The bulwark overlook. Okay, that won't work. I'm assuming we can break that. There we go. Pretty nice little setup here, I kinda like it. Uh, let's go ahead before we talk to her, let's break all this stuff. Pretty accurate pasture there. Okay, watch this, he's at 65. That was, what, 13? 13? That looks like way more than 13. Clearly, the economy and Cloud Brick Islands is hurting. If that giant pile is worth 39 cumulative, I mean for all three of them. So, let's see what's going on up here. Looks like some of special quest or something. Hello, Skylander. It's an honor to meet you. Wixen? I don't have anyone with the skills to use this cannon. Why don't you hop in and show us all what Skylanders are made of? <laughs> Jeez. Boom Jet's animations there are pretty funny. Anyway, you know the drill here. You're probably going to be shooting down some airships or something. Shoot 50 bombers. Uh, this is great for Boom Jet. And watch out for missiles. L to aim and B to shoot. So now the B button's involved. The question now is what's a bomber? Well, let's see, like I see these little hot air balloon looking things. So watch out for missiles shooting. 50 is a pretty high number for this being like chapter 1. I, mean, so I don't think it's going to be a huge challenge. They're coming really fast. But, uh, I mean, I would think maybe like 12 or something might be a little bit. Oh, no. Sharpshooter. Is, is that us or them? Oh, I guess it means sharpshooter. So this is very similar to what we've had in the past. Let's take these missiles out. It's the like case. Now the good news is this is a lot easier to pick up and do well at than you know, what we had to do with blasts on that rocket area. Uh, which that was a lot of fun, it just it doesn't quite control, you know, like you would expect it to right off the bat. So. It's one of those things you kinda have to get acclimated to, I suppose. Did not see that one. Yes. I think Boom Jet's gonna be a lot of fun though. About halfway there, I guess. Ooh, it came up. Oh, we couldn't get there. Clock that one. Oh, that. This is not going well at all. Like I said, I mean, for what should be in like an introductory, easy chapter, this one's kind of. Uh, high number, at least, you know, 50 of them. Try to take these missiles out. I guess our health... I don't see... I was looking for our health, that's probably a stupid idea. I guess it is Boom Jets, because he went from 260 to 232. Uh, when they stay low on the screen, kind of hard to get them. I just glanced at the gamepad, it's actually showing the stats still, so it's not like some advanced view or anything crazy. I think we almost have our 50. There we go. Don't think we did terrible there, probably didn't do great, but, you know. Nice shooting, Skylander! Here, take this, you've earned it. 
Alright, let's see what this is. We will, uh... Oh, Wing Sapphire, okay. So those are actually going to be, I guess, tied in with this type of stuff. 2% discounts on items, abilities, items and ability upgrades, so... Uh, we'll have to get Success is mine! Again! Alright, so this guy is a little cocky, but uh, it's to be expected in the territory, I suppose. Check out his range. Not too great, but... <laughs> I don't know what that sounded like in the mic. I actually did put my hand in there and shield it, so uh, my apologies if anyone's deaf. Skylanders definitely... of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. Go back to Dark Slot 2T. I'm actually kind of surprised you needed characters outside of, you know, water life and fire, uh, you know, and like rocket and uh, climb, in all honesty. There's some treasure. 15, 13. Looks like we could drop down as we will. Or have we already been here? I can No, I don't guess we have. Looks like you might be able to come out up there. Canopy K. Ooh, check that out. See that tree wreck said? It's like I told everybody, the giants are incorporated into this one. It's very, very cool. You gotta, like, have the whole nine yards here, man. I kind of thought this would be like Washbuckler Blast Zone and Stealth Elf take the cake for you. Uh, not the case. So, I mean, in theory, I guess you wouldn't have to have the stuff. You could still complete it, but uh, apparently that's... Yeah, not so, Let's get rid of the stupid Grievel guy here. Drop down. Come back up. Oh, he got a direct hit on us. I didn't know I could do that. Let's see what it says. It should tell us we have to use a giant, but I'll let it do it. Only a giant can open this chest. Well, uh, oh, it's a chest. Okay. Uh, the only giant handy is like my second tree rex, not gnarly, but uh, one of them. Be afraid of the bug. Okay, he's got a dorky hat on too. Oh, did he just automatically open it? No. Um, let's see. Not that enemy still blasting us. What sucks about that is my giants don't need money. They're fully upgraded. Um, anyway, let's just let Tree Rex have some fun in here. I guess let's try to get him out. Right now. Wait, I don't want him to have money though. 65 though, he's still gonna deal lots of damage. Let's get back to Slobbertooth. He does light up well on the portal though. Brand new, sweet, slim, streamlined portal. I'm about sick of that Greeble up there. I mean, he's just been. All we wanted to do is open that chest, see what the Giants do in this game. He's been trashing us. Really tired of that, and it's mainly been that guy right up there. Um, how do we do that? I think he can make this jump. He can. Crashed it. That's kind of so get stuck in my head. All right, so the treasure chest are like really slim. I think they're going to be harder to find in some later levels. Uh, they don't have that usual look to them. So. That's our final treasure chest, though. Get a pretty decent amount of cash there for Slobber Tooth. Looks like we have to go all the way back out, though, I suppose. Uh, looks like there's some stuff we've missed, so I guess that's okay. Let's make sure we get everything. That was where the big chest was. See anything over there? Don't see anything over here. 
you go ahead and uh, climb on it. Question now. Let me figure out how to get to that stash, and then there's. I guess that's another piece of flint ship. Hmm. So maybe we can drop down from somewhere up there. He's kind of down there in a little crevice. It's interesting that we couldn't uh, access something. Ah, well, that would explain that, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, we'll drop that thing down, put that one over there. First, we're gonna come over here, because I think we can drop down that stuff. Oh, there's our little uh, climb swap zone there. So that's where we'll use wash buckler. We'll go ahead and get this stuff cranked up first. So we're gonna drop down, get this, then I will take that. Um, Power to pick up, I'm assuming, like I said, that's probably for the ship. Oh, in okay, case so you have to push it again. There we go, that's all Flynn stuff, so we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and again, because I'll probably do this throughout the game, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. Let's take a look at where there's the objectives right there. Get to Woodboro. We got 5 of 5 there. We got our enemy goals taken care of. That's another reason I let the Chompies come. I uh, haven't lost a Skylander thus far. 10 of the 13, we got 3 of 3 there, we're missing a hat and a bonus mission map. We're probably going to get some, if not all of that, here in this uh, climbing area for Wash Buckler, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, make that happen. You know, our other climber, I guess, would be Spyrise. He is not released yet. We'll pull Dark Slobber Tooth. I uh, do have slobber dude, just hadn't opened him up yet, and here comes Wash Buckler. Fully intact for the first time in the playthrough. I think they did a good job with this boy's little Wash Buckler. Uh, let's check this out. You know the drill, we Z art. Climb to the top. I wonder if this is what we saw backstage I couldn't mention. <laughs> Uh, press A to wall dash. So, similar situation. Blast them. We had to press A to rocket. Now we press A to wall dash. The issue here is going to be what happens if I don't press A. Does he fall down? Does he stay put? Does he move slower? Uh, we we'll kind of have to experiment. Okay, so you can go side to side. And. Okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that sound is actually bothering me. I'm gonna try to just let you see this here. Across. So I guess A just kind of like speeds them up a bit. Is that stuff you can break? I think it is. But it doesn't. Oh, it does break. You just have to dash through. I'm gonna try to get this stuff. Oh, you can't jump. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that makes a little bit of sense now that you think about it. I don't know that we need this stuff, but I kind of want to get it. That was like six coins, I suppose. Uh, let's just do this one first. Nothing's gonna. Yoo-hoo! Okay, I'm gonna go down here, even though we shouldn't. There's that. Wait here. Grab that gold. This way, starting to be some haze up in here. Good job. Number two. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, make sure there's nothing in the cloud. Ooh, I guess it's like the second phase. <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense. Here's our basic move out. Again, you probably really don't need to do what I'm doing. I'm getting like four coins at a time is not really helpful. Ooh, he did dodge this. It's not helpful. Ooh, there's a heart if you needed it. Which... We didn't. Oh, I ran into it from behind and it penalized us. That's kind of lame. Anyway, how do we want to do this? Let's make it dangerous. Let's make it interesting. Come back down here. That's... Well, nothing in there. 
nothing there either, is it? I can't tell if that's something. The monitor's going to sleep. I might get hit here. I had to tap the mouse. Go. This isn't really too bad, it's just, I mean, if you weren't going to try to get everything like I am, I think you'd be doing fine. This is, I guess, like the third leg here. And they at least give you, like, wads of cash, you know, when you get to that point. The little stages, I suppose. Some of those nuts, I guess, like the acorns, are blending in quite well. You went the wrong way. <laughs> we still done it. It's just, uh... Get out of here, grab the heart, get out of there, grab the coins, go this way, make sure that's nothing we can get. And there are a lot of like completely safe spots, so that's kind of nice. Nothing there, even though I thought there was. Oh, those just like broke on their own. You win. Epic. <laughs> Winning is good. Swap zone challenge unlocked. Treetop Jump. Play the Swap Zone Challenge in Woodboro to earn stars. Right. Okay, that was pretty sweet the way it came down, too. And he picks up... Bonus Mission Maps. Okay, I can work with that. Let's see what this one is. Fruit Fight. Play this bonus mission from Woodboro. No map needed. Pick that stuff up. <laughs> that's kind of a fitting. I know that's just like his regular deal. He would have said that if we got the wing sapphire with him or something. But I uh, worked out really well in terms of the timing. Uh, this is the area we've been to. I'll just backtrack and make sure we get there. Guess I should go back to slum too. But it's liable to change past here. I'll see what he does. Primary attacks looks like 34. Those guys are pretty stuck. Nothing like the chompies. So with the B button here. Oh, well, sorry, that was B, that's jump. And still learning the controls. Looks like he can take that out. 25, 34, it's a combination of numbers. Dropped a few frames there. Nothing major. That's his, like, little sword dash there. And that's his... <laughs> okay, so this is primary right here with the Y button. That still bothers me. And then secondary kind of does that like equally. Those are kind of hiding in the shade. Can't jump right there. Of course, we can come in here. I guess we should do that in case that like ends the level or something. Gold Hume Basin. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's those flipping grievals again. I might actually take those nuts out so we don't have to mess with them. I'll let Slobbertooth get some of the gold, I guess. Yeah, I guess I could just let Washbuckler do it and save time, I suppose. I wonder if he can climb the wall. No. <laughs> Worth a shot. Now we know I won't have to do it again. But again, I mean, 10. You're gonna need a lot of money in this one to upgrade everybody, so uh, it'd be nice if there was like a lot of you know, places to come and go. Got a key, so I guess it's a good thing we came in here regardless. I'm about to sneeze again. Uh, try not to for it. I guess we're gonna have to go ahead and lower this lever to get up there. Probably from one of those cages or something. Yep, it's called rope. Thanks for saving us, Skylander. Well, I guess we should talk to her. Thanks, Skylander. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> Wonder what this one's nice gonna say. Job, Skylander. You really are strong. <laughs> so padded our ego a bit, no wrong with that, I suppose. We'll come on top now. Looked like a banana. I guess it was a banana. So pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, can he go over there? There's the key. Nice animation. I'm gonna tap the 
now, so we're gonna do bad. Getting close to another 30 minutes gone already. Well, how convenient. It's about the second time of day something's gone, right? You guys are really annoying. Sorry, it's a big gun for you to have. Question now, I think we're still missing like a hat. I don't know if it's gonna be... I don't really know how long the level is, that's kind of my problem. Okay, so this will be that little jumpy thing again. You do have to rapidly tap A. I guess if you first see the coin, it looks like if you press it immediately, kind of like get it. Your Skylanders can be combined into hundreds of different combinations. Yep, the new power is choice, Ian. Thanks for the news break. Okay. Uh, 26 minutes, maybe we can finish this. Oh, we got a dig, man. I've worked out great for me because I've got Gorilla Drilla. Uh, that's probably why some of the people, uh, if, you know, already started playthroughs or something, don't have everything complete. So, let him take these guys out. I might have to end this again. I think we are getting really close to the end, but um, I'm going to go ahead pause it here just because if this takes as long as the other swap zone challenges uh, don't want to go over 30 minutes and lose commentary uh, this would be a really long this would be like over an hour playthrough for chapter one so um, I may may have to make it into parts or something just keep it more viewable I don't know what I'll do yet I'll know when I edit them but uh, go ahead and stop it here we'll come back we'll switch to gorilla drill gorilla drill I should say for the first time let him come in here to this dig area see what he can't do but uh, again thanks for watching we'll catch you right back here in just a second hey everybody want to wheeze and we are back again I pause it I feel like we should be pretty well getting close to the end of this level but I want to go ahead and uh, stop here just in the event this is like a long you know time wise deal I tend to lose audio after 30 minutes in terms of my commentary so we're gonna go ahead and uh, back out we'll pull wash buckler and again luckily right now the only dig one that we have access to where is he there he is gorilla drilla so let's get him on the portal see what he can do for us if there's a drill, right. there's a way so we'll uh, come up and take this. Find your way through the dark. Dig up the blue crystal before time runs out. So this one will be timed. I don't know if you fail it, if you get to go again. Um, or what exactly. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do either. Okay, there's a heart. 19 set, good lord. What are we supposed to do? I knew I was gonna get hit there. Okay, A button. And you have to keep pressing it. Well, the good news is that paid out. Well, the bad news, we may run out of time here. Um, okay, we got the shaft there. The good news, there's something here we need. So, kind of a cool animation, really, and I mean, it looks like it's cranking out a pretty good payment for us. Um, Problem? What do you do? I don't understand this. Um, okay, I thought we had to actually jump. I thought that was going to be something that would float us somewhere. So we got two of the three. Uh, what was that area that we were up high at? I guess we'll just walk this way and see what happens. I honestly do not see a third crystal in this thing. Well, I guess we're going to find out if you get to repeat them. Um, 
Again, I personally prefer bounce pads. I think. Okay, so you can repeat it. That's good news. So, uh, find your way. Yeah. I think we needed to make a jump there, and I could never get back to that. So there's only three of them. Uh, let's go ahead and just go to this one, I guess. Oh, this one was easy to get to, too. But... Kind of a cool deal. It's a little confusing, kind of learning curve type thing. Is this like the edge of the world? Okay, that's what it is. You can't even go anywhere else. That's just like the termination of the point. So, is that a chompy? No, it was a gold. I think we'll be able to do it now. It's you kind of have to like get a feel for everything, I guess. And I think you can actually drop down onto that one. So. Uh, we'll go up here first, and then I think we can just drop to that one. So I think we should do fine here. Note that the time stops when you kind of like dig down. So uh, now we just drop down here. You don't have to land that jump. Come here. Yeah, we'll dominate it this time. Kind of a cool deal. Uh, takes some getting used to. <laughs> it's, uh, worked a little better than uh, Blast Zone's initial one. Anyway, Spiky Pit's what we unlocked for our Swap Zone Challenge. Play this Swap Zone Challenge in Woodboro to earn stars. A to continue. <laughs> Alright, this should be our final hat, I guess. What's that, the life preserver hat? Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that probably won't happen too many. I kind of got the stovepipe hat. Uh, plus 15, max health, plus 5 armor. Pretty impressive hat stats for Chapter 1. Yeah. Hat or no hat, I look awesome. Okay. <laughs> prefer you with no... Well, he kind of has a hat on, a little drill element. Uh, let's take a look at his stuff here. Primary, which is Y button, which is weird to me. You get a feel for his punches, and then secondary attack is like a little, I think it shoots coconuts if I remember right. Come down, I think our objectives are complete. Da da da, we should have that. Oh, we have one more area, so that's all we need to do. Uh, we're at only at 82% there, though, so let's see what happens. The Greebles are blocking the gates to Woodboro. You need to take them down. Oh no! <laughs> sure, that's gonna be a challenge. Why can he not jump? Okay, I was gonna say if he can't make that jump, I don't know why jumping was added. But it's just... Oh, this is fitting. I know it's water element and everything, but I'm gonna let him eat the banana. It just works. I guess we'll go back to Wash Buckler just because it's you know, water. I guess he might get extra XP or something. Okay, so we can see how Wash Buckler performs down here in a challenge type area. Woodboro Landing, that would be our final area. Note, I didn't see anything. God, they're annoying. About uh, having completed everything. So. And I actually don't want to kill those guys until I've explored. I'm afraid it might auto in the level or something. Which I think we do have everything. I just don't want to like leave any major chunks of money laying around. Looks like Flint back there too. So it's cherries. Okay, the cherries were actually food. So that was. Let's get these Grebles done with. Let's see what that does. I couldn't tell if it was 34, 44, 24, something in there. But that's his secondary power. Uh, the primary is actually going to be what you see there, the sword slash. I guess those planes are dropping. The Greebles is how they keep respawning. I should take the chunks. Iron pot. 
really hard for me to see, but I think that's a 34 is what I feel best about. So how do we get to that goofball? Like so, I suppose. So it looks like we made it to Woodboro now. Oh, it's not Flynn. It's Tessa and some others, I suppose. Okay, pretty cool. I guess this will be like our main hub. Kinda has an Arbo-ish feel to it. Got to Woodboro. We accomplished all that. Accomplished all that. Feel pretty good about that. Uh, leaderboard, accolades, save and continue. Let's look at accolades. Um, okay. We'll deal with that later. A little, little much to take in right now. Uh, one story scroll, we got it. We got the Wing Sapphire, got the bonus mission map. Found our three hats, found the legendary treasure, got both soul gems. Uh, we got the three treasure chests, we found all 13 areas. That's the main thing here. No Skylanders were defeated, got that checked off, got our enemy goal, got Flynn's missing stuff, and most importantly, for the story to progress, we made it to Woodboro. So, we'll save and continue here. There's probably going to be some cutscenes. you've returned! And I've brought the Skylanders back with me! This? This is a Skylander? Him? Oh, no. <laughs> no, he's a... Uh... Even better. He's the best pilot in all Skylands. Name's Captain Flynn. And you are? I am the village crier. Yeah, well, I get emotional too sometimes. Shut up. Uh, no, Flynn. Rufus keeps everything running here in Woodboro. If you need anything, he's the one you should see. Thank you, Tessa, but I really must tell you something. It's... Hold that thought. I need to find the chiefess. But, but, wait! So you're the guy, huh? Perfect. Okay, here's what I'm gonna need, Doofus. It's Rufus. Right. Now, important question. What do you know about enchiladas? Hey, take it easy with oh, her. She's awesome. very sensitive. Rufus, where's the chiefess? That's what I've been trying to tell you. She was taken by the Greebles. We have to rescue her, Rufus. I'll go make preparations, but we're going to need the Skylanders. Uh, Rudy, hey, about fixing my ship. You guys are footing the bill for this, right? <sighs> okay, so it looks like the cutscenes are going to potentially drop frames for me. Here in Woodboro, I never thought the day would come. We haven't seen a Skylander here in many years. Oh, in fact, that reminds me. I bet you would like an upgrade. The hit bros over there have been trying to open that magical power pot for years and haven't had much luck. But perhaps it will open for you. Hit bros, that's pretty good. And don't forget, if you ever get lost or need directions, just come and see me. I'm here to help. Okay, um... Let's go ahead, I'm gonna end this here. I'm not quite sure if chapter one's going to wind up being like one part that's really long, about an hour, or two parts. Probably I'll go the two part route, but uh, we'll come back in again. Uh, try to do my usual thing. I gotta get a feel for the game first to kinda see how I'm gonna introduce characters, what I'm gonna do, etc. But, uh,. Pretty good so far. Again, it does look like, unfortunately, those brand new fancy cutscenes are potentially going to be a nightmare for me on the recording end uh, because they're going to drop frames, I'm afraid. Again, you know, if I wasn't recording it, it wouldn't be an issue, but uh, you start recording and then you drop frames there and it just screws up. My commentary doesn't match up with the gameplay, and then people ask what's wrong, and you're crazy, you're stupid, yada yada, so uh, that is the downside there. Uh, Woodboro, though, that's going to be like our main little hub, the main plaza type thing. Uh, man, let's see. Like I said, I may play around a little bit here, kind of try to get a feel for how I might introduce characters or something. Uh, the good news is I'll be using ones that are already kind of registered, or I'll, I guess I'll start with the ones I used in that chapter. Uh, Dark Slobbertooth, Blast Zone, Washbuckler, you know, Stealth Elf, Boom Jet, etc. But uh, the good news is we got all of that stuff done in Chapter 1 that we needed to. Had I started the playthrough already, we would have had to go back. 
Uh, assuming I acquired Gorilla Drilla this week, because we would have needed to have Gorilla Drilla for his dig ability to do that swap zone challenge. It's probably why Octane, uh, that guy is a machine. He cranks out his playthroughs really fast, and uh, more than likely, you know, he jumped on that probably Sunday launch day or something, and uh, Gorilla Drilla wasn't out at the time. So uh, that said, though, the little uh, Wii U thing will be neat. Again, if anyone wants to add me, feel free. I think there's a I haven't really kept up on it. I think there's a maximum cap on your friends or something. Uh, my issue again here as of late, even though it's 2013, I've had major internet issues. Uh, it's, that's why my nephew and I kind of quit playing Mario Kart Online, which is ironically why I was interested in recording gameplay in the first place. But, uh, you know, I'll try to make the most of it. Uh, the simple stuff seems to work well. I did have some luck last year when the Wii U launched a little bit, you know, into November with Sonic All-Stars racing and everything like that. Uh, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Again, this summer the line was cut and there was water in it and all kinds of crud. And here recently, I don't know what the issue was on launch weekend, but Tuesday, Wednesday, the speed kind of picked up a little bit. Still not what it should be, in my opinion. But, uh, you know... Uh, if you do that, we can, I guess, kind of like keep tabs when you know you're online, what you're playing, how you performed in this, and whatnot. So, uh, anyway, I will quit rambling though. I'm going to explore around a little bit, try to figure out how I want to proceed, introduce characters, and whatnot. So, I'm going to have some fun doing that. I'll do my best to make it as viewer friendly as possible. Uh, but so far, so good. Game. I've uh, had a pretty good time aside from like frames dropping, which again, if I wasn't recording would be a non-issue. I'd be on cloud nine right now. But uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll mess around here and try to figure out what I think would be best for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to follow along. Best thing to do in this case is subscribe. That way you'll be up to date when I crank out the next parts of the playthrough, etc. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+. Uh, questions, comments, your thoughts on the game, whatever, feel free to post it here on YouTube for a quicker response or reaction from myself. Feel free to post it on the blog, one of Weasom.com. Every description box is probably going to begin with a link back to the blog. In most cases, it's going to take you to the specific posts. So keep that in mind, but I'm going to try to kind of get a feel for the game here in Woodboro, and uh, like I said, try to figure out how to approach this in terms of introducing characters and continuing on, uh, make it as enjoyable as I can for you, so uh, I'll go try to do that, and uh, I guess I will catch you back here for uh, chapter two or some character introductions or something else, I don't really know right now, but again, thanks for watching, and uh, regardless what I do, I hope to see you back here when we continue on.